Louisville Metro Police tell us there have been four arrests and 11 citations for street camping in the first month since the Safer Kentucky Act went into effect. Homeless folks can be fined up to $250 or spend 90 days in jail for street camping. After one warning, reporter Travis Bree spent the day talking to homeless advocates who say this has been the worst month for the mental health of homeless people in Louisville. Travis. That's right, Connie. One advocate said it's harder to reach people and give them services because people are hiding in new places this month. He also feels that people are more ashamed of their life situation. He says placing more punishments on these people will not help. You know, pants are down there, right? Okay. Jeff Gill has been in the streets for eight years, helping people get what they need. If you want to text me the sizes so I can gather some stuff and then I'll bring it Sunday. For the last month, his job, rather his voluntary mission, has gotten a lot harder. It's been a little bit rougher than normal. Police are now citing people for sleeping on a sidewalk if they're in a tent on a piece of cardboard or on a blanket. The law does require at least one warning. We found at least one man had missed his court date and now has a bench warrant and will be held on a $500 cash bond when police find him. They know today that they have that court date because they got the ticket today. But in two weeks when they've lost the citation, the chances of them remembering the court date, time, courtroom and all that very small. Republicans in Frankfurt who passed this law and overrode the governor's veto say the point of this portion is to get homeless people off the streets and into programs and treatment. The law has roughly 30 provisions, which also increased punishments for violent felonies and more. Representative Jared Bauman of Louisville said today, we have heard from local law enforcement and elected officials here and from other communities that they are extremely optimistic about the Safer Kentucky Act. We continue to monitor how all provisions are implemented and will work to ensure the bill meets its goal. Law-abiding men, women, and children deserve to know their safety and security is our priority. You're more likely to be robbed by a neighbor than somebody sleeping in a tent. Gill disagrees with the homeless provisions in the law and says what the city really needs is more events like this, a showering, clothes giveaway, and resource fair hosted by Vocal Kentucky. It's just about reaching people. And yeah, we pass stuff out, but the whole goal is to reach people and, and find out how we can connect. In Denver, Colorado, they have something called Outreach Court, where a representative of the court system sets up a table in a public library or a homeless shelter and helps people resolve their cases. Gill thought that would be one way that we can stop people from missing their court dates here in Louisville.